once again guys let's continue with the differences between force mass pressure weight etc this time it's time to see the difference between force and pressure they are very common misconceptions that force and pressure are the same and yes they are in a sense because when we speak about pressure we generally associate that to an area and you know that this is a force so that's why maybe you think that pressure and force and area are mm, similar but they are not let me show you why pressure is essentially a force applied to an area very important area is the concept key concept here you may have a lot of force and a lot of area you may have little force and little area you may have high force low area and you may have low force and high area actually there is a very important fact if I were to ask you what do you prefer guys being stepped on by a elephant or being stepped on by a girl on high heels and the fact is that a woman or this girl with he, her high heels might give you more damage than the elephant per se let me explain you why pressure by definition is force divided by area it's directly proportional to the force okay so if you increase the force the pressure is increased if you decrease it the pressure decreases but it's also indirectly proportional to area so if you have area increases pressure decreases you are more relieved but if you lower the area you increase the pressure so you have your area you have the weight if the weight is constant and you're changing area well you are going to change pressure if your area is constant but your weight is variable you're also going to change the pressure and I want to give you this example I showed you before imagine this girl is only 60 kilograms uh, on weight she has two uh, feet so we're going to divide that by two she's going to step you with this little area this for you guys it's about 120 pounds well, the girl uh, has a mass of 120 pounds okay and this huge elephant let's say she has this area it's huge let's say that the elephant is three tons or has a mass of three tons but he or the elephant has four feet so you measure that and you will see eventually you make the division the area of this is very small the area of this is small but not that small and even though the elephant is huge you will see that comparing 3 million versus 125,000 well I rather be uh, stepped on by an elephant than a girl with these high heels and if you used to dance especially in balls or something like that weddings clubs whatever you will see that if a girl steps on you with this high heel will give you at least you will remember her the, the rest of the night okay so hopefully you get the idea that the important here is the combination of force and area and we're done with the definitions of force and pressure and all that next section we're going to be analyzing mass flows volumetric flows and molar flow What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. So 
Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.